right activity one students in the digital age let's get started so um, first one is getting to know you student questionnaire on google form i utilize google form and questionnaire for teacher interview i used um, a google doc so getting to know you students questionnaire utilizing google form uh, i used eight questions describe one thing that make you feel a sense of accomplishment explain why share a favorite memory you made with a family member what's one thing you wish i knew about you what's your biggest dream in life what's one thing that you worry about it what's the best book you ever read uh, why did you like it and if you uh, could pick one person dead or alive to have lunch with who would it be why and describe a lesson you learned when you face something difficulty so those are the six responses because uh, in grade 11 we have a six new students just joined in our school so i use i choose that those six new students i would like to get to know them better so i pause a little you can read one by one question number two three four five six yeah what's the best book you have ever read rich dad poor dad girl with all the gifts to kill a mockingbird reach for the sky uh, more sport learning level uh, one and two so that's different students responses and uh, if you could pick one person to have lunch king solomon myself uh, friend at school uh, sebastian vettel and knowledgeable person in programming so that's a couple of students different responses uh, eight is managing time uh, take a rest math grade uh, asking help from uh, people so based on that i uh, developed a questionnaire for teacher interview so uh, focusing on lesson structure uh, which is specific tools strategies and approaches used social emotional learning reference to cell three signature practices instructional equity uh, universal design for learning culturally relevant pedagogy and differentiation and assessment planning grasp approach and additional considerations so those are the five uh, questions sent using google doc and those are the one i received uh, from uh, the teachers so based on that i selected three teachers um, science teacher, ICT teacher, English teacher, Chris, Rina, Flora. First question, lesson structure. Um, uh, what strategies, approaches, and tools may be used for engaging students given two lesson, one over 30 minutes block online lesson schedule? Uh, please uh, propose a lesson structure and list specific strategies, approaches, and tools that you, you will plan to use. Uh, lesson structure so Chris talk, talk about a flipped classroom and using cognitive um, and uh, Rina has talked about also talked about flipped classroom uh, Flora talked about starter warming warming up engagement activity introduction to LOs and main activity and plenary um, sub question two specific tools strategies and approaches uh, Chris uh, talked about community utilizing interactive presentations and uh, uh, he talked about a number of different uh, feedbacks uh, Google form Flipgrid Kaizenia Quizlet and uh, interactive tools a arena is talked about Google Doc slide and Python editor and um, Flora talked about a hyperdocs and padlets social emotional learning what class building activity team building activity non-digital alternatives to communicate what cell uh, three signature practice behavior and academic expectations responding and attending uh, strategies do you plan to use um, chris about talk about inclusion and even talking about whatsapp groups for classes arena is peer-to-peer -peer interactions mindfulness and reflections on and Flora is, uh, uh, is setting a clear expectation and responsibilities. Uh, 
Uh, question number three, in, in instructional equity, how will students' success be ensured through use of variety of resources, strategies in increasing accessibility to learning opportunity? You may wish to consider the following link. So Chris talk about differentiated learning and uh, Rina is uh, all inclusion and using resource with the multicultural themes. And Flora is said, uh, mentioned different learning styles, visual, kinesthetic, audio, such on. Question number four, assessment learning, how will students be accessed in the remote setting? Uh, Chris talked about clear and detailed assessment rubrics. Um, Rena has talked about using online examination tools such as exam.net and Flora uh, talked about grasp and clear and specific steps for improving a student's work. Last additional consideration, what further consideration may be important to ensuring the success of remote online learning? Uh, so Chris talk about fast internet and sufficient computer RAMs. Uh, Rina's uh, camera on, group work, good communication between students and teacher. Uh, and then Flora is uh, talking about incorporating pupil feedbacks and share their work and idea at some point in the term. So let's sum up what is our findings, our grand findings, social emotional learning, inclusion, checks in, WhatsApp groups, peer-to-peer -peer interactions, reflections on and clear expectations, and instructional equity, uh, differentiated learning, uh, differentiated by outcomes, differentiated uh, by task, uh, differentiated by tasks, setting clear rules, creating all inclusion culture and different learning styles. And assessment planning, instead of uh, written feedback, we can use Kaizena verbal feedback. Uh, while students cannot access to uh, labs, they can utilize online uh, interactive simulation labs. For formative assessments, we may utilize Quizlet and Quizzes uh, uh, formative assessment tools and online examination tool for summative exams we are going to use exam.net and the lesson structure can be flipped classroom students read uh, watch video uh, at home and discuss in the classroom we utilize google forms hyperdocs padlets and flip create my favorite uh, students um, uh, students respond respond using uh, video using flipgrid and also uh, they can also respond to a different student's uh, video and utilizing online simulation too. Um, so thanks to uh, representatives, uh, so Chris, Rina, Flore, and also the six uh, students who participated in, in the uh, survey. This is my references. And thank you all and have a good day.